live. I'm everybody. in my dressing gown. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of people here to talk with us about this exciting reveal stream. Um, yeah, yeah, we're here. It's it's incredible. I think we it goes without saying. The new reveal. Everybody loves Warhammer Forty Thousand the best, and they crave a new edition. It's my best of game. the game. It's we're my here best with game. yeah. We're here with Vox Morbis. Um, Hello. Eric's here from Between the Bolter and me. Um, we also have, right, right now we have one of our friends, Nick, here in the stream. One of the two Nicks. Yeah, and I think we're going to be joined by the other, or one of our other friend Nicks. Um, hey, Nick. Hello. Um, I know you're really excited about a new edition of 40k you know i just <laughs> last night i was like a kid before christmas i just sat in bed and i was just like oh boy i can't get to sleep because i'm just so excited about ninth edition and you know what i'm really excited about ninth edition guys because the horus heresy oh. players will can continue to complain and say that the seventh edition was better and yeah. i will bask yeah, in that's... their salt and it will be glorious yep. that will likely be the case i mean it i will personally probably cannot wait that vocal minority but hey hey nick oh my god Pretend. twitch is open twice why is twitch open twice oh Hi. twitch that's how twitch goes um twitch is what's best in live so do you guys have a live stream on your twitch awesome. we just started it okay uh, <laughs> hurrah <laughs> so, so you there. could Catching be twitching with both uh, yeah terror, you probably don't want that, that. Um, uh, but you could. I'm going to attempt it. I'm not going to have both audio on because then I'll go crazy. But oh shit! No, I have both audio on and then like your head to like destroy everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that would be rough. Yeah, but um, I see something in the chat. Biggest reveal, squat or oh, re redeemed or something. Oh my word, squat, squat Imperial Guard Regiment. Let's go. Yeah, that would be fun. It would be kind of disappointing if they did that and didn't oh, like re God, release can... other Imperial Guard. <laughs> Why would you release squats when you can release more Space Marines? So, exactly. Yeah. I mean, for their shareholders, that is the, the proper question. Oh, sorry, Why I didn't know my hand not show up in our chat. No, it makes me sad. They're jacking up the Blood Bowl prices, and I was just considering buying the Undead Blood Bowl so I could maybe have some zombie reinforcements for my more time someday. But now I'm like, well, zombies. You can buy them now before they jack them up. Oh, I could buy them now. Yeah, I probably should. I almost did that with uh, the Nurgle guys. Yeah. From uh, Miss Grave or whatever. Yeah, the worm spat. They're, they're real good. I've used. They're going up as well. I've used Everyone's several. using those worm spat. What is their problem? But also they jacking up. I didn't look at the list because like the full list because it was four hundred models. Oh, we're starting something. Oh, here we go. Oh. The excitement is God. I'm so excited. You can hear it from my voice. I bet. I can. Oh, cool animatic. Oh, it's definitely Krons. Oh, Imperial Guard, come on, please. It's God, yeah. They're Cadians, though. Oh, wow. It's actually, that's a female guard. guard. And she doesn't have boob armor. Oh, wait, here that it comes. <laughs> this is a damn good video. Yeah, this is actually really great. Holy crap. I actually am digging this a lot. Holy crap, this is good! The neck, these gauze blasters are gigantic. Yep. What could you expect? Oh, Look, they can't gone. manipulate oh, matter no. on a subatomic level without, without big guns. Isn't that a new Necron? That looks like Nah, it's some other spider leggy. I mean, it looks thing, right? like most Necrons, but I don't... This is either for the animation that. or... Uh, no, it's just for the box set, I think. This is too intense for the. Oh, what if it's like? What if it's sisters versus Krons? It is. I oh, call come... that. Sisters versus Necrons. Someone that would be sick. I mean, Nick predicted Necrons like a month ago. Other Nick. Yeah. Alpha Nick. <laughs> One of the Nicks. 
Oh, oh boy. I like spider leggy. Yeah, triple spider legs. I think that's new. Pretty cool. Oh shit. Oh, it's. It's a chainsaw. Oh, thankfully. I was getting worried. Oh, no. <laughs> I was getting no. worried that it wouldn't be all the Marine oh, Primaris. It's ruined. Okay, now she kills him. Oh, it's. Oh, now they're like. Oh, that's a cool shield. Yeah, but that's gonna be the only cool thing. That's the only cool thing about them. <laughs> Everyone is gonna want that shield if he's in model form. Guys, oh, yeah. the most important thing here is those scarabs. Are those new scarabs? Look at all those little scarabs. I hope it's new everything. The is it just me, or do the space marines look the worst out of everything in yeah, the video? Yeah, they look really shitty. Yeah. It looks like the, the Primaris his head was made larger than the models are. no mercy. Should have been Death Watch so by the Necron to throw Should have been Death Watch. Uh, before. Awakens forgotten evils to break oh, us. Never mind. oh, she's using a bolt to one hand. Jesus. So cool. You got a special character that they uh, are releasing that you can't get anymore. Farmer. Mm hmm. The galaxy burns. And the last bulwark works against the terror the is space. Oh, whoa. All right, that's, that's sick. <laughs> while we draw breath, we will fight. That was a great trailer. Yeah, I know it had good. problems, but like, compared to like a weird... about that trailer? That's a great logo. There is only yeah, it is. Oh, we lost our neck. I keep it's dropping It's definitely a sleep one. trailer. Okay, I don't want to hear about that chat. I want Warhammer40,000.com. Find out more. Cool. Ladies All right. What do people we think about the new logo? It's it. fine. Now joined by I think it's good. The, uh, and out of 10, yeah, would logo um, again. Yeah, I would, I would logo uh, again. Of, uh, I, yeah, and, uh, I think it looks good. Foley. It's always Give me nice models. So, the video was pretty good. It was probably a little too long, and the space springs looked pretty bad. <laughs> Nothing in comparison to the Astartes guy. Though, that's the okay, guard stick. Stop saying that, it's never gonna get that good. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that guy was the only guy who did made Space Marines uh, pull. What did we just see? What is this? Uh, so well, it's because I mean, they didn't talk. Picture into the 41st millennium, I think. Yeah, that's uh, true. That's agree. true. Not talking hell. Oh, well, but uh, yeah, no, I mean that's good. I feel this is a good way of leveraging <laughs> their new <laughs> video stuff. You know, yeah. Yeah. it actually looked um, really nice. Using it as a way to. Um, Convey that hey, they're what, gonna what be new models. Maybe we uh, won't show you them today, we, but oh god, they got me real well, mad so, if they don't show us uh, models today. Of, uh, no, they will show, show us some. models. I'm Hopefully, sure they show only us show some, us the Space Marines. Six, nine months now. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, oh, uh, what would be the, it? There's a darkness it's forming in a, in a corner of the galaxy. And, bigger uh, Boltus, I reckon, to take down just, bigger Necrons. Yeah. Uh, so, I, so I love that in their, their little much. conversation, uh, yeah, but, Adam Trope uh, is like, uh, what a great way to premiere, premiere a new edition of Warhammer 40,000 with a logo. Uh, it's like, dude, did you up. not watch the video? <laughs> Can we not talk about how good the video was? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. He's got his priorities, you're right. That man is a design man. Uh, <laughs> it is a nice logo. What were you trying to do? Yeah, but like the video? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. I, I like the old better. I mean, uh, this new so logo is, is a real, it's a changing of the guard, you know? Gone is the like to, intricate uh, grim duck. To learn and put into oh, the oh, big new Primaris angle world logo now. Oh, we've got. Oh, I, I see how it is. We got a. We got a, a grognard in the chat. We got a grognard. We got a. Well, we got actually, a, I think a maybe the more important uh, thing that has been revealed here uh, is that they've created a new every, hashtag every for us all. New 40k. New 40K. Let's 40K. start tweeting. Fuck everybody. Get out there. there Time to start tagging all my Instagram posts with that. You get out there, all everybody. Of them. And then I'm gonna get the followers. Yeah, yeah, man, all the Space followers. Space Marines is going to follow me now. That hashtag is like just signifies all the best new content creative. Oh, content. yeah. Actually, I'm going to look at it right now and see what there is. Oh, uh, yeah. How long did it take? I'm going to give you a review. That's a good idea. I'm excited. Yeah. Should we 
we like do like a round thing while they're chatting? Should we chat about our reactions to what they just show, like one at a time? Yeah, because yeah. it is kind of cool to just chat with so many people going at once. The top for hashtag new 40k is some media completed primaris against the media completed nerve, just like three models. That's it. Mm. Okay, so um, who wants to go? And then a primaris. Oh, shit. Actually, new 40k. Is he top? But one of the top posts is you, Nick, with your modified. What? Yeah, you posted mm -hmm. something on the 9th of June 2017. A Primaris Marine. Oh my god, is that the one Primaris Marine I've ever posted that has like more likes yes. than anything else yep. I've ever It's, it's the third <laughs> most popular post with hashtag new 40k. <laughs> no! no! Damn. Trend setting. No. No. This is a horrible dream. What the fuck, Nick? <laughs> you that okay, okay, let's let's not talk the about that. Let's talk about uh, what people think of the video and what people think yeah. of the logo. So each person Why don't you start? Modern yeah. okay. Synthesis Mr. Pink start. What's your thoughts? Uh, I don't mind the logo. I think it's cool. Um, I really like the video. Although I liked it a lot better until the Space Marines showed up. Not because I hate Space Marines, but just because it's cool to see like the sisters kicking ass and taking names. Um, and I think they looked good. And I wanted to see more like sisters killing Necrons without needing to rely on Marines. But there was a, a cute nod when like the Marines about to get blasted and then the sisters come and save their ass. But um, yeah, the Necrons look good. They look a little cartoony in like their actions, but I like that three-legged dude with the sword. Yeah, I guess maybe I'll come in. I could uh, like largely echo most of the stuff you said there. Um, particular, yeah, Space Marines came in. I wasn't wildly excited about that, but the actually the community page or not the community page on they're kind of scrolling through screenshots of the trailer, and they had a picture of the Primaris next to the sister, and for some reason. The Primaris looks really squatty. Like his head is bigger than I think the models normally are. Oh, it's way and, bigger. Yeah, like they changed the proportions. I mean, yeah, the proportions are more in line with the older Space Marines, which I feel is a is sort of weird. It's but I mean, wrong. that just kind of goes back to this general thing. Like, I'm not that excited to see Space Marines in it. But that you know, if if they're spending all this money to make an animated trailer what do you expect it's gonna mm. happen but I, I think it's it's a good way to use their all these new studios making you know videos like this producing music i think this is sort of the ideal way to reveal big you know big things like this a new edition whatnot so i think that's good good to see um I kind of also so echo your thought about the Necrons looking a little cartoony, and this is probably we'll something it will always look that all, way. All the right places, but their, uh, to, uh, their faces are very, I'm going to say, undetailed and without any like dirt or something to give them extra definition, they look kind of flat. Mm -hmm. But eh, it seems pretty good. Any thoughts for anyone else, Juniper? Do you have? What do you? Oh, think? they're they're showing yeah. the models, everybody. They oh, started good. showing the oh, models. Okay, I guess we'll. Uh, they started uh, with the space marines, thankfully. It's it's real boring. It's just a. Yeah. Oh yeah. Love them space marines. Yep. Space marine captain. Nice. Assault intercessor. Wow. Okay. Great. Chainswords are, are back, back baby. Chainswords yeah. are back. They fly now. Okay, so. <laughs> well, yeah, well, Juniper, thoughts? Yeah, and it yeah. could be about um, this or the, I, anything. I, would, I mean, Chainswords being back is cool for a start. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, it was cool. The, the sisters were great. I was really happy to see a female Imperial Guardsman. Maybe, maybe that makes me hopeful that maybe they'll actually do that someday. Some act of some <laughs> renovation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm still Adam Trope. Um, I'm still Eddie Eccles. I don't care about Space Marines. Why do the Space Marines have to save the day? I wish it was just a Sisters versus Necrons box. That would be excellent. 
And then, yeah. Nick, you and I could split it off these next two. <laughs> Hell yeah. Finish painting. Um, what if it had both sisters and Space Marines in Necron? And I still won't buy it. Um, but, you know, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah, the Necrons were cool, but I agree. Um, I feel like the 3D models in general lack detail compared to, like, the Space Marines and the... Like, they showed those still images of the character models for the sisters. In some like lavishly detailed, and, like nice textures and stuff, and the Necrons were just like baby smooth. Um, mm. But the but the designs were cool. I really liked that big one at the end, the Mega yeah, Spider like, guy. He was cool. Um, all in all, He's I mean, yeah, I really go. like it. Um, it's a it's a nice, guys, like, more dynamic the, way to uh, to reveal uh, a new edition, edition rather than just like yeah, a really logo cool, with some like wire in the background. Uh, <laughs> is this guy for all chapters? Can everybody yeah, uh, get agree. involved with uh, Assault Intercessors? I feel like they're breaking oh, down the, the <laughs> reveal to like its component parts. They're like, here is a logo. Here is one Space Marine. Yeah, the next exactly. preview will be one more Space Marine. Oh yeah, they just showed another Space Marine. Here's Space Marine too. So you're going to have to buy a whole other kit. This is running Space Marine. That's what's going to happen here. This is an Assault in Intercessor, everybody. Get it right. <laughs> Sorry, assault in this episode. It's very important. Were chainswords ever not here? I don't get this chainswords. Yeah, for pri so for Primaris, Primaris they didn't really it. have chainswords unless they were blood angels, and the community was like, they're getting rid of marines. The chainswords are the most iconic weapon of space marines. I'm generalizing here, but I like doing the voice. And, yeah. uh, and then, uh, uh, yeah, I think they had to kind of do assault intercessors. Yeah, okay, I guess so... kind of for further clarity there, um, all of the intercessor squads, like, you could only have a close combat weapon other than, like, a dagger or whatever, I think, was the sergeants. They could get, like, a, a bolt pistol or a chain sword, but that was all. So this is probably now you can get assault ones that only have assault weapons and nothing else. Okay, so yeah. I didn't know this, and my life was infinitely better because of it. This is so like space marine naval gazing. Where are my chain swords? It's like we've produced a thousand of these over the years. Steal someone else's and slap it on your model. Well, I mean, they had one special like lieutenant model with a chain sword who had cut off an orc's head and he's like leaning over it. Yeah. That oh, happened. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't like have it bucks on eBay. Hashtag. Yeah. Although, in, in, in all actuality, if you people talking about this right now it's like yeah i guess there weren't a lot of chain swords but it never really struck me that they were missing yeah did you ever feel the pain were you ever like man i really wish i could find a chain sword no it's I... like if you wanted it like they already made all the arms with chain swords look like... i i just go if i want a chain sword i just go into my burning a prospero box and grab the nine million <laughs> chain swords there I you have go in that exactly uh, sorry i thought about it for a second i have a box of innocence because it was briefly my sisters because that was the law that i came up for them mm -hmm. um before i got so sick of painting power armor and just never wanted to touch again for at least a long while um, i think yeah i mean but, i guess in addition for like a lot of the space wearing chapters hey there's a there's a dick going through the chat on oh, Twitch. I see it, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i did not have that open but, but um there. so back to what i was saying because they did for most of the chapters they had like oh here's a space wolf upgrade set here's a, mm -hmm. a blood angels one and like the blood angels one had a chain sword presumably for another sergeant the dark angels one had a power sword so like yeah they've had a few but it's something anyone who has been in this hobby probably has some chain swords and if they don't like you could order bits of that stuff probably pretty easily because no one cares oh, i care yeah. Very easy to get so, yeah, i just I mean, think of the I've... old go ahead i'm oh, sorry Nick. um i was gonna say yeah i have the intercessor box and then i just bought the black templars upgrades for as well that they made like 15 years ago or something yeah that was ago. A while and, ago. It, and it was still good you know it's still fine just cut the chains over them and they've changed them has anybody been listening to what they're saying? No, why would yeah. you? They're just talking about Marines and logos. I mean, I, I, mean, I yeah. should be listening, but... Uh... I don't want to listen to you guys. Someone says, tell us about Primaris yeah, yeah, Bikers. Yeah, 
I think yeah, Black Templars yeah. especially lean into mm-hmm. that kind of talking about Black Templars. I don't know what. Uh, medieval knights sort of I would vibe love, they more so than some of the other ones. I would love to see more Primaris. That's also, I hey, I haven't talked too much about the video. I'm going to talk about the video. Yeah. It started, do, yeah. Off, it started off pretty, pretty, pretty well. Like, I feel they did a pretty good job with, like, the faces of the Imperial Guard and the Sister of Battle, and that was pretty interesting. The Necrons looked okay. Um, it was... The video itself was probably too long. The Space Marines coming in was sort of expected and kind of stupid, but what really did it was how big their heads were. And it's like they completely redid... It's almost like they completely redid the redesign of Primaris. They're not very much bigger than Sisters of Battle. They're not larger than normal Space Marines. Like, I don't really know what they were trying to do with that. And then they had a big scene of them charging forward, the Marines, and they looked really wonky. And then the sisters came to save them, which I guess was fitting because they needed saving. And then it ended. So the (laughs) Marines really didn't do it well. I feel it seems that Car- Carlos is in our chat here and he mentions meme the frog in the chat and I mean I did see Pepe the frog slide by in the the chat for the Warhammer community thing with his like the sad the sad yeah. face so maybe some other people are are upset too can I talk about the video now you of sure course. can yeah so i really liked it like the start with the sister sister's armor really detailed like really evocative like those beams coming super immediately you know that's necrons the effect was really cool of like the disintegration liked seeing the imperial female imperial guard really hope we get an upgrade kit for that or some new non-cadian imperial guards and then it was really cool until the marines arrived and i was like okay this is expected i like the big three-legged necron i like the bigger three-legged necron but really, I didn't care about the Marines. They weren't that interesting. The Necrons should have been more worn. They look like they've just been come out of a chrome shop and have been buffed with turtle wax. So, uh... <laughs> well, they probably buffed themselves before battle. Yeah, like, yeah they I, just came I... out of their tomb. Come on, man. That's They're what fresh. I imagine. Like, like, you wake up and the cryptic is like, all right, like... Bob, you got to go down to the wax <laughs> shop, and there's just like this this cryptic. Oh shit! Just there's more stuff happening. Wax is just waxing rows of necrons. Oh, there's the wax back. necrons. They're coming up, Nick. The wax oh. necron is here. Oh my god, my body is ready. They don't look nearly <laughs> chrome enough. They look the exact same as normal necron. Oh no, that head looks. Oh, oh no, battle damage. The head it's looks exactly what you want. Oh no, the it's looks, derpy. The head looks <laughs> what so the derpy. hell? Oh, no plastic god. rod. No plastic rod confirmed. Um, he's That's stand- a good-looking gun. He's standing up straighter. Yeah. He kind of looks hunched as well. So, um, yeah, I like the aspect. It's better. Okay. I think the he looked man. pretty good. I, I like of... that they have battle damage. They're worn. They look like they've been rotting away in a tomb for tens of thousands of years. But that's not what the video showed. Unless they should have paid their cryptic waxer more. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, overall, I think the video Apparently is they said it's good. a new dynasty. I don't know anything about dynasties. Nick, tell us about dynasties. Uh, so basically, <laughs> dynasties are like different, like, ruling clans of Necrons that they were like the big wigs that got transferred, and they all have their, like, quirks, and then... So there's one where the their minds all died in stasis sleep, so the uh, the tomb AI took them over, so made them Lovecraft Crons. Oh, there's some oh, who are, like... Athlete. Athlete. Huh? Oh. More oh, oh, these they're ones do not look wax buffed. Oh wow, they actually look cool. Does one of those have a targeter it's eye? Or it's yeah, missing. one of them oh, looks like damaged something. as well. Oh it my looks god, like two of them are damaged. In the eye. You got it's two correct. of them got shot in the eye. Yeah. Oh, one's got a baby scarab by, by his heel. I love it. They're, oh, aren't as large. So I mean, they're still huge, but they're maybe not as large as I feared. So that's a good, good thing. I'm good that they're. It's good that they're larger. Show us the Silent King. So they, do look cool. they definitely look better. Yeah, it's nice to see them have more detail. They yeah. needed more. They needed oh, an update. One of them has a scarab sitting in its. Like, yeah, by its oh. heel. That's so sick. No, there's oh, no. one in a torso. Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. it's like build fixing it maybe. 
Yeah, Super that's awesome. Cute. All right, so they look good. little buddy hanging out. In his I think they're, po- they're posed a little better than the standard plastics. They they're not all... Little, yeah, they're not as wide. They look a bit more shambly. And mm-hmm. the heavy gas blaster, they made the barrels a little bit shorter such that it isn't so dramatic, mm-hmm. which I think maybe gives a better kind of silhouette. I remember assembling yeah. old Necron Warriors and they were a pain in the ass. Their joints are not do not have good contact in the, the, the joint holes. That's the official term, I think. The joint holes. Got them right well, the joint I, 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 My anatomy classes in my degree were ages ago, so whatever the... <laughs> I believe they called them joints. Thanks, Jupiter. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've been working with bacteria for too long. Oh, God. No joints. No joints. To speak no of. joints. Yeah, I they're just squishy. Find... good. <laughs> it's interesting that the first one they showed and revealed the head was so different looking. Yeah. This, yeah. This I think derby. that was a 3D render, though. It looked no. like a render rather than it a. It had gross a model. paint on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it has the terrible yeah. metallics that's like super. Heavy, lead Belcher, but Lead Belcher was everyone loves Lead Belcher. Oh no, it wasn't the metallics; it was the other stuff. Wait, let's go around. So, uh, Adam, what do you think of the Necrons? They're fine. Okay, she clearly um, should have asked someone else. <laughs> that's a ringing endorsement. Um, I like how they have more battle damage. That's good. They're not squatting as much, which is very good. Their newer weapons, meh. They're fine. They're too big. Um, it is nice how, in addition to them not squatting, they're sort of like shambling a little more. So overall, yeah. I feel they look a little more akin to what some of the artwork shows and what you might imagine them looking like. So overall, I think they're an improvement. The original Necron plastics were still pretty good. Um, some of the pictures, like their heads, might be slightly redesigned, and I don't. They don't look quite as sinister as I might have wanted them to look, but mm-hmm. you could obviously modify that if you wanted to. The addition of the little scarabs, um, like coming out of the one's chest and at the one's heels and stuff, like that's kind of a nice addition too. So, um, I think overall they're good. And in some regards, I feel they did a little more to rework them than I would have expected them to do. Because you almost yeah. could have seen them just using the same models, putting them in a box, and then just having, like, new Space Marine models Yeah, or something. I was not expecting new Warriors. That's really shocking. So, that's good. So, overall, they're good. Um, and they're probably about as good as I could have hoped for. They're certainly not what I exactly what I would have wanted, but they were never going to do that. So I think I I endorse them. They're they're pretty good. Eric, what do you think of them? Well, Sorry, I'm going in the order on my I chat find thing. Is somewhat interesting that on some of the it that they changed for the on the top of like the big Warhammer 40k preview and stuff, they actually changed it from the beginning to now it's changed such that the new logo is there. Oh. That's kind of fun. I'm not sure what I think about the new. I think it's fine, but yeah. Symbio Joe says it's going to be a pain to grind down the plastic glow sticks to fit into these new weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, I kind of okay. think some of the stuff adam said like i i I think maybe the thing i like the most is that their poses they have kind of that more shambling skeleton look which i think a lot of the older artwork that was so cool kind of conveyed that idea of skeletons in an interesting way and i think that's good they're not just like all riding horses or something squatting down so that's good um their weapons are more in line with the other Necron weapons that had been on more recent models without the glow sticks. Street think... Kern in the chat says the Necrons would look even better if you took off the jaws and make their heads a bit smaller. And yeah, that's an interesting mm-hmm. idea. So certainly, like, if you look at some of the artwork in, like, some of the more classic illustrations and stuff, a lot of them did kind of have smaller heads, which... I think could look kind of neat. 
Uh, ultimately, I think it's a good step. They didn't change stuff dramatically, but it will be it'll it'll be nice to see. And I think we can take these, and if people want to make their head modify the heads a little bit to be more skeleton like, they can do that. It'll probably look good. Um, but yeah, and it, it's it's more fitting with some of the older imagery, like. And I think that's good. Nice, Juniper. How do you feel about them? Yeah, I mean, I think they're they're um, a good update, same as how the sisters were. Um, I think they're a nice faithful readaption. Battle damage and the fact that each Necron looks a little more personalized, like the targeting reticule and on the eye, and you know, they as said they're shambling, but they're all kind of like in different poses. They all have different levels of wear and tear to them. Is cool. Boss blasters don't really do it for me. I don't really care about how they look, and I think that they overcluttered them needlessly. Um, yeah, the new scarabs are cool too. Or, yeah, like overall, I think I think they're good. Uh, I mean, you know, like, they're, they're they're a little more interesting now than than the old ones were. They have more character. Nice, Nick. What do you feel? Uh, I really like them. It's nice to see new Necron warriors. It's nice to see some variety. Like I admit, the gun. That I have my problems with the guns because they're huge, and I also think the axes on them are weirdly ornamented. And I'm like, I prefer the, just like the plain axe because the bog standard Necron is meant to just be a bit shit. Uh, it uh, <laughs> changed in the lore. They're great at close combat, now, but right? uh, I I like them again. Like the heads could look a bit derpy in some cases, but I think they're a nice nice release i'm glad it's not just space marines versus chaos again in a box so mm -hmm. i'd be interested to see what else they put in the box so yeah um for me uh i think that that derpy head like back in the day when they released the new gene sealer models they suffered from the fact that one of the first pictures ever released of them was a really bad angle and now the necrons are now up on the warhammer community site so you can look at them in per like individually and they don't look as derpy like one of them looks like really sinister. The one with the that the one that I thought was a targeting reticule. Apparently, it's just a busted Necron, and that's like its eye socket showing through. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking originally. Yeah, I I like them. Uh, I liked the. I can't remember who said it, but the comment about the Goss Blaster, the special weapon being shorter. That's really nice. And, and that it's looks almost a like lot better. talking about the guns being over detailed. The Goss Blaster Ooh, was just guys. Like we got two... another thing. Oh fuck! Here we go. Sorry. That's fine. I hope it's the Space Marines. <laughs> it's going to be Some one Space Marine model. Universe. It's going to be a book. No. Or something. <gasps> I said 40k and we get Horus Heresy. Why would they do this to us? They're rescaling the entire Horus Heresy. Okay, so now they're just talking about... Oh, no. Oh, this is a new Nothing. story. Dawn of Fire. Okay, that's what we're doing now. On a fire. Uh, That's uh, not as. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I interrupted you, other Nick, for that. People seem real. <laughs> okay, people on the let's pretend that didn't really happen. Excited. Yeah, let's just cut that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that didn't okay happen. going back. It's fine. So I was going to say the, uh, <laughs> the Necron guns. Uh, the, the, I think it was, was it Juniper who said that the barrels are over ornamented, or was that Nick? Uh, I said that they were over detailed in general. I was referring to the barrels and the axes when I said that. Yeah, it's the barrels. I just looked at them. Final Fantasy VII remake just came out, and these look like materia slots from like a <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy VII. That's so, so like the the two materia slots on the the special weapon work for me. I guess there's four, but mm -hmm. the two length barrel. But as soon as you got the four materia slots, it just looks like overkill. Well, isn't that curious that so for the the regular Gauss Blaster has four materia slots and it's pretty long, but the the, ga the heavy one, it has the same number of materia slots and the barrel is probably about the same length. It's just it's stacked on top of one another. You think they're the same? No, they look shorter. Well, it kind of looks like they just chopped the front off and oh, put it beneath sorry. it. Mm, right you know yes I mean. yes 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 overall so, shorter but if you put them but along it, the which i guess to me if they're different weapons that's curious that the the, the weaker blaster goss blaster is actually basically 
as large or larger. Than... See, Eric, what you're failing to understand is the heavy gauze plaster is at the higher item level, and so its base stats are stronger. <laughs> You're right. You're right. They got it down also, a little later. You got a single barrel shotgun, you got a double barrel shotgun. Which one's better? You're the gun guy, you tell me. Um, I most mean, of the single barrel ones, like, they hold more rounds in them. Like, they have a yeah. little loading tube underneath the barrel, whereas most of the double barrel ones, it's like you have two shots, then you have to break it open and add more. So I'd rather have the single barrel, I think. <laughs> I was trying to make a funny quip, but thanks for that educational break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if Doom yeah. taught us anything, the double barreled super <laughs> shotgun is probably what you want. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, terrible. so we need to take that heavy gauze blaster and we need to make a meat hook. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, take the axes and make it into a meat hook. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone wants Kron that. Guy. Kron yeah, guy can kill garter. Space Marines. He's, like gonna go, he's gonna go rip and head gene seed until it is done. Nice! I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone care about Avenging Sun? Because I do not. No, I do look not. how ugly the art is as well. It's Oof. a different style of art. I think they're trying to pull in people who aren't as grim dark, maybe. Uh oh, do it's I sound like a 30k yeah. person? Mm, no. I mean, I, you, you know. To be fair, everybody, this is hashtag new 40k, so... Exactly. <laughs> Logo, Queen Avenging Suns, they're all fun. But the thing is, is I think it needs a balance, because, like, sometimes you can read a Black Library novel, and I'm not going to name them, but they're like, uh, in, I aboard, I aboard the ship, the, the sin of everlasting lust and i am a champion of slanesh and i armor rise with nine million screaming souls after i killed the planet terror four and you're just like come on come on like i don't yeah, really care yeah. that is bad um well, I, but that, I will... that's just hammy bad writing as well, well I, so <laughs> i'll admit there are very few black library novels that have good art on them like That's really art that really like invokes something like really cool and like really gets you excited. I think they've gotten better, but for like a long time, like nearly all of them were kind of like meh. Like I like, like the I like the Eisenhorn uh, omnibus one, and I like some of the Gaunt's ghosts ones. Mm. Like, yeah, they, they, for a long time, a like, I think his I like name was Clint Langley, he did, like, nearly all the art, and he has a very distinct style, which I never really loved. Um, I, this... um, I really liked the Malice Darkblade art. That was great. Man, Clint I Langley read Malice Darkblade. I have all the omnibuses. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, good. this, the Avenging Sons artwork just kind of looks generic. Yeah. That's my problem with it. And, like, you wouldn't necessarily know it was 40k. Maybe that's the idea, though. Yeah. But, um, that's a problem with a lot of the modern art that they're putting out. It's just really, like, buttery smooth and, like, anything really, like, exciting. Like Because if animation. you think about it... <laughs> hey, the animation um... was pretty cool. I mean, an animation takes a lot more to it. <laughs> If you think what about you these say? books, I was just going to say that um, the people who already love 40K, they're going to buy these books or they're not going to buy these books. I don't think they're the target audience for them. Mm -hmm. I think these books are trying to get new people into 40K. True. Good because point. they probably maxed out their market on all of us nerds, and now they need some new nerds. New people mm -hmm. to buy Necrons. Yeah. Jacking up those prices just in time for all new nerds. Necrons. <laughs> Bot Dice Miniatures came. He said, I came to hear Adam rip new minis apart. Shame the Necrons are good. Yeah, I mean, so far, <laughs> I mean, we've all, I've made fun of them already, but overall, all the models they've shown so far have been pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, Disappointingly, sir. I just wish we could see more Space Marines. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. Don't say that. You know what? You know what? I'm. I'm just really glad the starter box. I just thought they were going to include an uninteresting faction like Tyranids. So I'm just really oh, glad about the starter. You asshole! <laughs> <laughs> be my Primaris I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm Where are my Primaris guns? Well, I mean, I, I guess at this point we still don't actually know what's in the box. It's heavily implied that there are these new Necrons, and. 
maybe some assault intercessor space marines. It's going to be a new Gilliman model. <laughs> no, you know what's going to happen, Nick? You know what's going to happen? What? Sorry, Nick's plural. They're, yes. they're, um, they're going to release this box with those sweet-looking new Necrons, and then they're not going to re-release them, and they're going to have really dirty, shitty, snap-fit, five-man generic ones that they actually release. Uh, Hopefully, they also. That's what they did. With, that's what they did with all the other previous boxes yeah, with the troops. Yeah, those the uh, Dark Imperium um, uh, Death Guard the way better than the other Death Guard. Yeah, the Pox Walkers as well. Pox Walkers you can't buy anywhere else from the from the previous one. Yeah, you can buy your five fit, easy to build shit. They're not the same Pox Walkers though. I know they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. Yeah, that's they what I'm worse. saying. They are worse. It's the same as yeah. the Chaos Cultists that came before. That guy was. French guard with the shotgun and yeah, nothing. you could only get that in the box. You only get you only get like the weird derpy shitty ones. But no one wanted cards. those, and you could do a roaring trade on them in uh, bits order sites. No one wanted those cultists for the longest time. I bought so many. Oh, you are so cheap. I hate I've those seen cultist Dark models. models. Box. If those cultist models, models, I feel, are horrible. Like I hate Ooh. them more than like. If any. you're accepting oh, a 40k what? proportions, it's fine. Like the, we're talking about the older Chaos Cultists that came yeah. in that one box set. I hate them. Yeah, man. And it's I largely because of their feet. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't like, even look at their feet. They're, they're better than the ones that came after the easy to fit ones. They look extra shitty. Yeah. Um, you know what is a, a is a good release post box set though? Death Watch Overkill, the the Gene Stealer Cultist, the multi part yes. Gene Stealer Neophyte yes. box is straight yes. gold. Yes, yes, it's, it's it's Queen. Perfect. Perfect. I absolutely love that box. Everyone Just, loves that box. It's so yeah. good. It's so good. Well, if I, feel I, if, if I GW the, follows it. what they have been doing, I suspect they probably will still release a new more multi-part necron box in the sense that like they had this yeah. sisters of battle box but yeah. then they released more traditional kits i feel the necrons it's a large enough important enough thing that has that hasn't seen a major update in a while that i, I think they will probably within a little time release another like just sort of box that's not just the snap fit ones that will probably be in this Hopefully not before they release assault intercessors because that is what we really oh, need. Oh, that is certainly. Oh true. boy, my body is ready. That's what I want. I really want. I, I didn't. How is that early? Like, do they not already have intercessors with bolt pistols and swords? Did I miss no, that? No, it's like, only yeah, the dark blood angels that care about swords. No one cares about swords. They want chain swords. It's yeah, true. Oh, chain swords all the way. Chain swords. I want them. Um, I want. I want them to. Release Gene stealer models. Yes, please. No one knows they exist. There's updated gene stealer models. Exactly. Yes, this is the one I get every time I mention them. And, this, and they're amazing. Where? Like, which box were they available in? Death Watch Overkill. Ah, of course. You get two of them. They are like, and they look great. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm googling. <laughs> I like if I you search up online to buy them, you can't. <laughs> but like, no, no, not even bit sellers or eBay scalpers know they exist. <laughs> Man, watch. Don't in go the chat anywhere. Down, They're yeah. gonna be back soon with more reveals. Hashtag new forty k. Oh, oh so, damn, those are but, nice gene stealers. So yeah, I need real. to say something. Everybody, if you're here watching the stream, make sure you do your duty and post something somewhere on social media spamming the. Hashtag new 40k. Hashtag. That's your mission. Doesn't matter what it is. If if <laughs> if I can green stuff my big robot, I'll post that. Hashtag new, new 40k. 40K. Mm -hmm. That's the new faction. Groom. 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 <laughs> yeah. I would play that. I'd play a giant I know group you of you. Wouldn't play that. But modern synthesis theory. He was way ahead of the curve with the hashtag with new 40k. Intercessor. Yeah. Oh God. He was way ahead of it. He was right onto it with his intercessor. Well, so what I should do is I should post a picture of an old hammer, like 40k model, hashtag yes. 40k. That could be oh, quite God good damn. if you give it a nice crisp uh, paint scheme like Nicholas Philstrom does. Yeah, mm. yeah, he's oh. so good. Right now with Slambo. 
Mm-hmm. And Pepe okay, the Frog is only constantly has... showing up in the the Twitch chat, sliding by, upset. <laughs> yeah, there Help, he is. There he is again. again. There he is again. <laughs> <laughs> He's been slowly removed from. I think the moderators have been removing him. Oh, I've got a. Back. What? How do I have a? My Dactylus is showing up for new 40k too. I don't know how I spam this hashtag. <laughs> Way ahead of the curve, man. We do need newer multi part Tyranid models. We definitely do. We did that last night. I I, did I a, saw. Um, Sorry, Nick, you go. Oh, we did uh, the next... I shouldn't say next. One of the soon-to-be-coming episodes of Xenos Alchemist is me, Simon, or Hydra, and Malak talking mm-hmm. about the problems with current plastic tyranids. Oh, we I can't wait. That last Ooh, night. sounds good. There are a lot of problems. I love High Fleet Moloch's tyranids. I remember oh, seeing them good. in the kill team white dwarf when they did it as a supplement and his puppet master gene stealer is mm. still one of my favorite models yeah like and also i agree with his recent post about how tyranids need to go back to being big alien horrors rather than big cartoon bugs yes yeah. absolutely I can't I like gene stealer cults. They, 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 it's the fear of the unknown like horrible yeah. human mutants and you don't see how like horrific everything is because turns out that the horrific that they Thing is coming is actually this big, like, crudely sculpted 3D. That's why anyway, your Gene cults are good. Yep. Who's Juniper? Both of yours. Oh. Okay. I feel like mine's not that horrific, but Hashtag your patriarch is one of the coolest ones I've seen, dude. Yeah, your your cult is great. I uh, I loved this strain when it came out. It was great. Oh, it's so campy. I know. It's <laughs> awesome. It's so fun. Hashtag My wife started day. watching it, and she was like, what the heck is this? And I'm like, yeah, Holocaust, it's campy. You just have to accept it. Holocaust survivor vampire hunter fighting a Nazi vampire. God, yeah. So the part where they film the um, where they're at Auschwitz or whatever, yeah. and you see like the flashback, that's filmed at yeah. a water treatment plant behind my house. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? That's awesome. I'm like, what the hell? That's the water treatment plant. I'm like, that does look a little ominous. That's so good. <laughs> I could like ride my bike over and take a picture of it for you. Also, spoilers: the last episode of that would be more so interesting. Bad. Than this stream. The last episode <laughs> of what? Of of the strain is so bad. Oh it yeah, so much. <laughs> it got really bad. Like it was, it, it was yeah. okay, and then it just got really bad. Yeah, after the thing happens, going into the final season, you're just like, oh, you would think it'd be good, but it's just not. <laughs> yeah. Talking of good TV shows that inspired conversions, the devs. It's in like an HBO show, I think. Devs. Oh uh, my god, I want to see this. What is it's that? so good, and it inspired me to come up with it. the Auto and Al- Analytica because it was such a good oh. show. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where it's streaming. It's on BBC iPlayer. <laughs> if you could get that doesn't BBC help us, in... friend. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> we could yeah. probably use a VPN and say you're in the UK and watch it on something. You know what I recently rewatched? Breaking Bad, and now I'm rewatching Dexter. Ooh. But only up to season three because it turns out after that. I never watched any of that. I I'm what like I watched a little of Breaking Bad. I'm almost through the second season, but then I stopped watching. I need to go back to Breaking Bad. I enjoyed both of them. Um, I enjoyed Breaking Bad more than Dexter, but yes, I had a thing a where show. friends were watching it. Have you watched Better Call Saul? Because I, I, yes, yes. It's, what do you it's, think? It's better than Breaking Bad. It's so good. I hundred percent agree, Juniper. I hundred percent agree. It's so good. <laughs> It Lalo almost is feels the darker. Best villain ever. It is, yeah. Well, it's so much more grounded. Like Breaking Bad is very silly at points, and like watching the things that happen in Better Call Saul, it's like they're more like real humans, and it makes it so sad when everything horrible is happening. And just like him and Jimmy's relationship the whole time, it's like oh, oh, because you just know that something horrible is going to happen, and like you know how it ends for a lot of these people, and it's just like so sad. 
watching it, knowing yeah. it, that their lives get ruined, and just like it's yeah. just like a, a train wreck in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so good. It has way more nuance, I reckon. I watched the first couple of seasons when they first came out years ago. Um, like that. And I recently got Stan, which is like an Australian... Consuming, consuming not just the best and coolest version of the yeah. game possible, in, when, just when the best missions I've ever seen. Started all ruining the world. similar versions um, of the field. And so right. I think they had some of that uh, situation where the game played in so uh, Europe is different from the game played where... in... Uh, you Las Vegas is different from the game played out. in Washington, D.C. Oh, that would go away this is and awesome. become sort of this big and it was great. story of us uh, all and then, the same and then ended uh, awesome experience all over the world. Yeah. I think there's, there's something nice about that. Yeah, I really and, like and, it. Uh, in recent years, the, the Warhammer community generally is, feels like it's come together more. It feels like you now have a, a universal kind of global community rather happen. than having... Supposing you know, I just saw a Twitter, someone world. was like, I, the internet's been I want more that, but also Necrons, the kind of, and they're like, oh, uh, we haven't finished with Necrons with, yet, with so... There's going to be a big one. We're kind of bringing you guys all the to make the single best game. Well, and you guys, let's do credit. They're going to drag it out. It'll be a nice, big, thick Necron. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> Necron daddy. <laughs> Necron daddy. <laughs> to be honest, it's just an honor to be part I guess. of. Um, uh, so the daddy uh, dinosaur. Sorry, news, just which daddy are, uh, talking. I mean, I'm not listening. Oh, so I'm I listen to. A, I just is... listened to a little of what they're saying. And big news: this is going to be the new best, biggest version of 40k yet. Okay. Oh, oh, they say that every time. <laughs> the thing that There's I'm focusing on split. is how Mike Brandt has a Shure SM7B microphone, but it's too far away from his face. <laughs> Maybe it's just really big. Maybe it's a huge microphone and it's really close to his face. What if it's perspective? No, that's yeah. that's not what a Shure SM7B is like. <laughs> it's too far from his face. Oh dear. He's still so we have. Okay. So we have yeah. Adam to world, pick so apart the models and the more guns, more and we have Eric to pick apart the body of setup. In every way, uh, the way that they paint. Amazing. The they enjoy narrative experiences, yeah, the way that wow. they can you know, engage with the story, and of course, the way that they play the game on the tabletop with their friends. And all right, I'm about to uh, tweet events, bomb or sort of hashtag all bomb all new 40 so I love it. Span yeah, the, the, the chat is full of people saying congratulations, and I, I couldn't agree more. Um, having attended the event that you organized in, in Washington, D.C., uh, I don't think I've ever felt... There's a lot uh, of pepe going on. Uh, yeah, so they've family just been community talking feel, uh, about the new edition. It's amazing. Uh, have and they I can't provided any to, details uh, that are share actually... share that on a global... Uh, you know, I don't think any of us are listening uh, to it. ...as part of the uh, official Warhammer so. community so. events going forward. I'm only here for the models. I'm super hyped to have you on board in that chat. I've played one game of 40K in my entire life. Thank you for joining us. And are oh, yeah. and playing uh, so, games of 40k uh, we after have that. have so. more rules talk coming down the pipe in just a minute. <laughs> rules talk um, is coming down. Uh, the pipe. We're going to be bringing back in uh, okay. the uh, the studio uh, staff. So Pete Foley, Which is head of the uh, box in studio, like a preview and Stu like Black, head of Warhammer 40,000. Rules talk we're isn't talk that about, interesting. Um, no, uh, I mean, I guess uh, it, just it one question, a little seed, if I may. But I feel I it would be that you're also helping work with better our team on a new Warhammer 40,000 app. Size thing of I, what is rumors changing, are true then, or honestly, heard. just allowing uh, us to jump in on that. As they said um, they're going to let us download the, the rules, like like just letting us download before, the rules. We will uh, have a thing for the release. I hope that's a little a little metal dice case. Oh, no, you know what it is? It's an app. It's an app. I would guess at some of the super cool features that we'll have down the road, but. Certainly, the most obvious one is uh, you'd be able to I use it to love... engage with building armies and experience. I mean, maybe the ways. Oh that shit! Uh, next step, but, uh, yeah, it's an I'm app. super excited. I don't to care. It. Um, it's really cool to be involved with. <laughs> you can build armies. It's really cool. It's about forty k. Nice. <laughs> really cool. Look, just re Eddie, re anything release you the want to say before the visitor. Make them available. Uh, no, just just to kind of give my own congratulations to all the special game rooms uh, on the website for ages where, when they went uh, to Warhammer events. Go I just want a stewardship Inquisitor re-release, uh, repackage, your event, no and rather, make it 28 uh, millimeter scale because I'm building a painted 54 things like that scale all over the world. I can't wait to come with you guys. Right, thank you everybody for. I just. I just don't want to like. I don't like painting big things. Vehicles give me <laughs> just uh, give me anxiety uh, when I have to paint. Oh, paint well, that's why you're afraid of tyrannids. You don't like painting big things. Oh, they've got a new thing. Hello and good day. My name is Warhammer. Well. 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 I am here to tell you. Is that James Workshop? Is that who that guy's? Nine called? Yeah. Great, great things that about the new edition. Of oh, okay, let's see the oh, nine great thousand. things about the new edition. Yeah. You had oh, better be. Now New strap model. yourself in and let us begin. First I hate one, that. Oh, I love it when it rhymes. One, 
It is. Real God. Has mm -hmm. been polished to perfection. Playing on some sexy mechanics. Thousands of hours of feedback and innovation. The cool Necron guy. A game you love into a gaming experience it as smooth as a Necron's uh, shiny yeah. bed. Two. The most immersive system for narrative play ever. The all-new oh. Crusade system links immersive narrative play system. Bananas, experience and new rules for your no, army. An immersive narrative play system. To toughen up, In kid. Inquisitor. Take your recruits from they suggest that there's me. the narrative three. play system you can everyone gain experience and command. stuff. So and now everyone gets more. What? I don't know. I hit command points kind of bog things down. But now you get more. Oh uh, yes, I Tanks forgot. Are back on track. Your armored behemoth been getting bogged down by pesky horrid rots or squishy gaunts? No more. Tanks can shoot in combat. Blast wow. foes at point blank range and keep That's on rolling. Are. That's but a point. Terrain's been rebuilt yep. from the ground up. Want to defend a building getting bonuses while you do? Absolutely. Want to sneak up on your opponent using terrain? Nice. To block the 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 yeah. They you look covered. like XCOM uh, enemies. Run screaming so your do, with your amazing. chainsaw raised and a hymn to the Emperor on your lips. Not completely relevant to this section of the video, but also, yes. What? Six. Warhammer 40,000 at every size of game. From lunch break combat patrols with your new army to crushing your friends beneath the iron boots of your full collection. So kill team we have apocalypse all together. Yeah. Battles of every size. Jose Clever. Allowing you to strike your enemies from all angles. Think you're the cleverest general among your friends? Time yeah. Gene Stewart Ninjas. That is a good time. Big guns never Send you thanks it's off the road, dude. It's great. Explosive weapons. There's a lot of Tyranids actually in this little animation. So yeah, most of them are just getting destroyed. Get yeah, getting job. dead. Yeah, see you're gone. <laughs> it's time to have a blast. <laughs> Nine. Aircraft take flight. Soar across the battlefield, ignore intervening models, and return for another attack run. It's time for aircraft to feel aircrafty. Pew pew noise is optional, but highly recommended. Mm -hmm. New Warhammer 40,000 coming soon. See, they could have just pr played that for us instead of like talking about it for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Gene Steele Hello, Ninja is confirmed. And welcome back. Uh, I'm still Adam Troke. I'm still joined by Eddie Eccles, and we still welcome boring. back to the uh, Warhammer yep. 40,000 preview once again. They look right, like they made them look like the Advent enemies without their helmets on from XCOM 2. It hey, that was so a cute. scary reveal. I will tell you that right now. When you when you autopsy them and they're like, "Oh shit, these guys aren't even human anymore." Spooky, all right. Spoilers. <laughs> oh, How have you not played <laughs> XCOM Two? Because yeah, I have an old Mac and no PC, and I'm waiting for it to come out on Switch. Should have watched the Let's Play, bro. <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Like what's what's the expiry date on spoilers? I don't there know. You literally people can tell people, tell people people a film from the eighties, and they'll be like spoilers, yeah, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. You mean like that part about Star Wars where no, Jennifer, don't do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's yeah. too dangerous. It's true. Always the spoilers. We literally have nothing to talk about. <laughs> ah! Yeah, they're talking ah! about the game. Who cares? So tell us about Warp Shadow Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. Warp Shadow Instagram's a thing. Um so Warp Shadow was a tiered form back in the day, and we had some good fun on it, and there was a lot of really cool ideas that came out of it. Um, but I don't know if you guys have had this experience, but like forums are not really a thing anymore. Yes. Um, everything's kind of moved on to social media. So I've felt a real dedication to Warp Shadow for years now, and I've been paying the hosting fees, but I've not been making any time to actually make it a cool place. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of paying the hosting fees out of, I think, guilt or dedication to what it used to be. And then recently I was just like, you know what, I should stop feeling guilty about this and I should do something more productive with it. Um, so... I decided to try and take Warp Shadow onto social media. I'd thought about it before, and it always came up as Facebook, and I hate Facebook. Mm. Like that was the it seemed like a Facebook group was the best solution, but I 
I don't go on Facebook. I don't like it. Um, and I really like Instagram. And I think that like Eric and Adam and Greg, they've talked about this before that you can have a community on Instagram. So I just tried to create a community for Tyranids on Instagram, uh, through this new Instagram hash, uh, profile. It's just warp shadow. And I'm trying to just feature interesting Tyranids from across the community. So if you guys run across any cool Tyranids, send them through and just like, let me know either on my profile or on the warp shadow profile. I'm, um, I'm trying to be really Tyranids. respectful and asking artists if they want me to feature their stuff. Uh, oh, good. Which is, it's tough though. Because yeah. people don't always respond. But it's still mm -hmm. like, a, it's a good effort because like it can mm. be, uh, people can get a bit funny about it. Oh, there's yeah, some accounts that are just repost accounts, and it like it just feels more like like harvesting than anything else. Mm -hmm. I don't. I agree. I completely agree, and I don't want to be that. Yeah, I don't look. I'm following it, and I don't think it is. You provide insight into the models and the creators, and it you know, looks like you make a genuine effort to actually. Like I went through and was like, damn, it's cool. And anyone who I wasn't following, I'm following now because good. They're putting good stuff out. Whereas a lot of these like harvesters are just like, here's a picture, and then all their hashtags, and then original photo by blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh. Yeah. And like, those are those can be useful. I don't like those accounts, but I do follow some of them. And usually what happens is that I'll see something I really like, I'll go and follow that artist, and I'll like it on that artist's profile. But yeah. I wanted to do that only for Tyranids and Gene Stealer Cult, um, so that they could have like a really dedicated place for them on yeah, instagram good. and good. yeah thank you thank you for mentioning it i'm glad you're enjoying it um because it's really early days like I've, i did it like two weeks ago or something so i'm just trying to figure it out yeah. as i go it popped up on um on one of the hashtags that i was following the other day because i don't i don't remember you even plugging it on your profile or anything oh i haven't I'm gonna, no i just wanted I was to like, do wow. it organically and i was like wow this looks sick and i will check it out and i was like wow, that's really cool is running with um yeah and so uh, great. cool thank I, you have you I tagged, I tagged my recent gene sealer cult post with the with the hashtag as well oh um, would you be okay oh, if i shared them yeah yeah do it awesome thank you no worries happy to to um it's really cool like i'm really enjoying people fostering like a sense of community on instagram like this um uh, Grim Grim Dark Book Club thing and like um you know, Molotov's like Ink Twenty Eight type stuff. Like those sort of things I I feel are really great to foster a community mm. in a space where sometimes it is a little more difficult to do it organically. Um but I think like yeah, as yeah. um as you said via Eric and Adam, it's definitely possible. Um just maybe a little you know, maybe a little harder, like so there has to be some uh like a neatest do it some like a, a starting spec to, to start collecting the people mm. awesome. yeah i'm glad you found it juniper and that you're enjoying it eventually i'll plug it on mine but i just want it to kind of be its own thing at first yeah yeah but we'll see that makes sense yeah it's it's cool i'm i'm definitely enjoying it awesome like the uh cockroach nid guys they're nice yeah that, that makes tyranids great because they're like disgusting to look at and like that's what i want <laughs> yeah. yeah so what do people do people think the what do you think the narrative sort of thing will be like because if they did actually introduce something that had more legitimate experience rules more akin to necromunda that could be fun although admittedly it almost has to be probably somewhat bare bones if they're like you can play yeah. at any scale, small armies, it would have, large armies, like it just wouldn't work that or I it could, could be sort of similar to what they have in Warcry. Yeah. Yeah, like growing your force more so than like getting experience for your dudes. Yeah. Like they could not personalize individual units or characters that much, I feel, because like with that many models and like the amount of rules and dice rolling that's already in yeah how to keep track of that much to deal with easy. trying to put that on top would just be a mess 
Well, so uh, this is sort of changing the subject a bunch, but so there are some people in the Twitch chat commenting about how they really didn't like the like the cartoon type art they just showed in this like ten great things or nine great things about the new edition. And they're saying stuff about like that's trying to attract like children who can't like afford to play the game. And I don't. Hey, I was a child when I got into the. I don't know hobby. about that. Like I. Uh... But it, it, it's like every single time one of this comes up, it's a it's a it's a silly video, it's yep. a humorous video, it's cartoony, and I'm just bored of every single person saying, "Oh, this is the death of yes. Grimdark 40k. Yes. This yes. is the yes. death of too, this." And it's like, did you actually? And they're like, "Oh, back in first edition and second edition," and I'm like. Actually, did you read those books? Because I've had a look at Rogue Trader, and it was campy <laughs> as hell. There's some serious and untrue. It, it was War Third Edition that was grim, dark as hell, but it still had humor in it. Like that's the point. Like these people just want super edgy stuff, and it was never ever super edgy. There was always glimmers yeah, of humor in I it. Think, and if yeah, you I want super edgy, general, just go play Kingdom Death. Thing. Have these guys seen orcs before? Do you think they've heard of orcs? a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Juniper. What are you talking about? Is that a TV show? I'm like, no, just the line. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I love it. Like, personally, I love the 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 new art style. I think it's gorgeous. I, when it first came out, it was really fresh. It was really new, and like, it's fun. I hate John Blanche. Like, I don't hate John Blanche. <laughs> I'm so bored of his art. Like, it's cool, but. I like new things, like fresh things, different I mean, things. And like, ultimately, I don't, I don't see why people would be too upset. But it's not like the codex books themselves, like yeah, the, art the little like, showing yeah. the units and such is that. That's not what it's. I mean, honestly, even if they did, it, I wouldn't really care. They're like website toppers. Yeah, it's just you know? a, a way to do do something a little bit different. It's just and it's. And it's, it's just to a, be fun, yeah. It's just absurd because I, I've like you can leaf through the last edition and the codexes, and people are like, "Oh, they've toned down the art." And I'm looking at some picture of a scarred Primaris with like nails and holy icons on his shoulder pad in the Space Marine Codex. There's all sorts of stuff. There's been loads of really good art. So I honestly don't know where people are coming from. It just reminds me of certain old hardcore Warhammer fantasy players who are just like who envision it as something that it never was. Oh yeah, I, I mean it's yeah. easy to cherry. It's yeah. easy to cherry pick good and bad art because it's, it's everywhere. True. It's true. Um, I think maybe people are mad about digital. The trend of it moving from traditional to digital art because the look and feel is definitely different for a lot of it. Mm -hmm. You can obviously emulate traditional art using digital art if you're all good at it and you spend a lot of time. But it's also a lot easier. I think that's maybe doesn't quite have the same feel but to, but to make it for a lot less money and saving a lot more time and having it yeah. still look good just yeah. not the same you know yeah at the end of the day it's like with the art on those that novel it's not for the edge lords it's not for the people who want fantasy battle to come back like those people mm -hmm. are not making games workshop any more money they're making them some <laughs> money but like oh oh man it was when i was in the inner circle thing um oh, oh. and i i got to talk to like the head of games workshop us games workshop us is more of like a distribution arm mm -hmm. of games workshop mm -hmm. but they're they're trying to be more than that like you can see with okay. the the bugmans or whatever they call it like the, the games work the, the warhammer mm -hmm. cafe or whatever yeah yeah and like this guy I think it was him. I can't remember who told me this, but he was saying like, he's like, yeah, that's cool. Like we get that you're not happy about this, but those people aren't buying any more models. Like they've got mm -hmm. tons of models. And if you release some more space Marines, they might buy primaries. But at the end of the day, if games workshop's going to continue to be profitable, it needs to attract new people. Definitely. So it needs to be more accessible than for the 30 K edge Lords. Hey, just slightly off topic. You know what was really cringe? Hmm. The, that warning yeah. at the beginning of Death of Hope being like R rated for blood. Yes. Testosterone. Yes. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Oh, that's the, also... the true grimdark fan. Yeah, and I hated like, that. It was so cringy. And I'm like, you read 30K. If you read the actual books, I have read some of the books. They're, they're, some of them are good. 
I will admit that. But it's all like the beginning of it. They're all these space marines like, oh, yeah, we've got a brand new armor mark. It's super shiny. We don't have all mm -hmm. these like ostentatious <laughs> ornamentation and stuff like that. Oh, we've got a new shipment of shiny guns. Oh, isn't religion silly? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. oh. well, they're, they're deluded, Nick. They, they want something that doesn't, that didn't ever, you know, it existed in a brief time period. But they broke. The same is like why they could never be a successful Half Life Three, and why they couldn't make good Star Wars sequels <laughs> anymore because people have immortalized it as something else. <sighs> it's nostalgia is the worst. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, they released that Taff like Alex thing that I think I people heard that thought was, was relatively bad. good. It's going to be extremely yeah. good. I watched the playthrough of it because I can't afford a two thousand pound VR rig. Mm, but... Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. It looked pretty spooky in some points, actually. Mm. I hate the head crab noises where it's like really muffled. You can hear the person screaming oh, underneath the head horrible. crab, and you're like, "Ah." Yeah, it's good body horror. Someone should do a gene stealer cult that like has these weird parasites that do like a head crab style thing. Mm, that's, a good idea. that's an idea. Can have yeah, that one for free. <laughs> Just like some sport, like parasitic spore mines. Yeah. So oh, cool. recent between the Bolter and me was that was it Polysmith or was it um, Weirding's Way who had the comment that gene stealer cult should be something that isn't tyrannid. Someone mm. commented on that recently, and it really kind of. I think it was Polly at... Smith. Yeah, that's what I, I would. Yeah, because he was more recent. I remember. It. Yeah. They used to but... not be Tyranid, didn't they? In the first mm -hmm. ed, they. Yeah. The, yeah, the Imgal stealers were a different thing. Yes. Yeah. So I think that there's a lot of potential there, and I think that if you're doing like gene stealer called head crabs, that it could be something that wasn't Tyranid. Yeah, yeah I mean. Just another really when you break raised. it down, yeah, the, they're just humans who have been corrupted by an outside influence, yeah, it could be anything <laughs> except chaos. We already got that, <laughs> yeah, 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 too much true. chaos. In the second uh, edition, you did get chaos, corrupted Jeez, that, I Patriarch. think that's cool. I think that's cool. I mean, yeah, that's corn eight, fine. Corn eight gene stealers. when I, I was feel. uh. I think that's fine. That fits with what they are. That the the tyranids they're gonna corrupt or you know try to get into any sort of living being. So I think that's yeah. fine. All right, they oh, wave oh, goodbye to the rules people. Animation. Oh, here we go. We got a thing. Oh, it's just a repeat of the trailer. Don't. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm not gonna rewatch. Okay, the those trailer. guardsmen look good. Yeah. Yeah, they do look I good. I really want the box to be guardsmen and sisters and space marines, but maybe heavy on the guardsmen and heavy yeah, on the sisters. Yeah. Or actually just heavy on the guardsmen, a couple of sisters and a couple of one space marine. I that would imagine the there, there will be no guardsmen. No, no. of course not. Because they were like but hard it, even in the trailer. Also, but it would be, in, I think that brings up a good point. It would be interesting if the box was released to like maybe fit more with like, let's say this this idea of playing in a narrative way. Yeah. And they had like, oh, a squad of um guard, like a squad of sisters and like three space marines. You know, like some interesting yeah. thing. It isn't just like the typical squads that you would see to make an army. Yeah. Because I like feel a combined force. Yeah, or like, oh, it has three sisters, a space marine or two, and then like 15 guard or you know something like that that would yeah. be cool it's not going to happen but it would be really cool but i mean i guess it was mentioned in the chat that i guess they could have multiple starter boxes and that is oh i don't true. think so that's a lot of money to spend but yeah that yeah. that would be a lot uh a lot of you know packaging and stuff mm. but yeah the necrons don't they look Kind of weird. There texture on them. Is someone shaking up? And sorry, sorry, can... that's me. Okay. You're doing Wait. some painting, Nick. 
I was like, I was like, oh man, I don't have my sculpting stuff. I left my sculpting stuff in the house. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. I could paint something. The this space brains. Yeah, I thought I saw a brush in your hand. The space brains in this look really, really bad. Like, oh my god, them are running like forward. Their heads are pretty big. <laughs> they look awful. And then like they're fighting the stupid scarabs. It looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but. They're if this... weightless when they're running. <laughs> they yeah. they like tried they to give them anything. weight, and they just ended up looking weightless. Yeah. <laughs> they fucked it up. <laughs> like they What's should... in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> they shouldn't have had the space marines. <laughs> the sisters look so much better. Yeah, they the do space marines are dumpy. Better. Like how well proportioned the sisters look. I mean, the space marines are just garbage. Their heads are way too big. <laughs> you gotta remember, Juniper, they're post human. They're not human. They're post human. You're right, that's right. Oh, look at this big boy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The space marines look really rough. <laughs> There's only war. So Nick, Find what are you painting? More. Did anyone go to Warhammer40,000.com? No, I, I tried haven't. and it didn't exist at that point <laughs> when I tried. <laughs> Fail. Love it. Uh, I'm again. painting my... I bought some... What are they called? SL, SLT oh, files or no. something? Oh right, yeah, yeah, like some 3D prints? Yeah, I bought some from uh, Fantastic Mills. Dark Fantastic... Mm -hmm. Do you guys know Oh, this? yeah, I know them from Bolter and Chainsword. Oh, what? The Bolter and... Okay. Uh, Dark Fantastic Mills, they, they do 3D print stuff. And um, they had this thing around... I guess it was around Christmas or something, where they they created barricades like the Zone Mortalis ones, but their own version of them. And I just thought they looked cool. And there was this kind of, like, deal to, like, if you buy the SL files, it was, like, cheap or something. So I was like, oh, what the hell? My friend's um, husband has a 3D printer. I'll just, like get him to print some of the stuff off. So it's just like a, a filament 3D printer, but I just was really taken with the whole like Zone Mortalis thing and the idea of making God, making terrain to actually play with, mm -hmm, um, yeah. which is weird for me. And yeah, this just seemed like a cool way to get a lot of terrain without having to spring for super expensive Zone Mortalis. And mm -hmm. he was like open to working together on it. So I've finally primed them and I'm finally painting them. If That's people good. are interested, Warhammer40,000.com has a picture of one of the models of the bigger Necron crab thing. Really? And oh. the space marine. It also has a picture of one of the new space marines. And he looks With like a pipe pistol or whatever. Maybe or the, oh, yeah, the new big Necron is cool. What is the... It's like... Warhammer4000.com Okay. I love that it's there and not on the Warhammer community page. Yeah, they fucked it again. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the new bottles. Okay, we've got shield, dude. Yeah, the spider guy is so sick. Where's my pistol? Not the Volkite pistol. Really, it's a Volkite is that a pistol? Volkite? Isn't that the old one? It's the smaller pistol-ish Volkite thing. Oh, shit. They're pretty Isn't Volkite, Volkite like heresy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, heresy. the heresy grognards are gonna get peas. Oh, I really like the detailing on the back of the storm shield where it's got all those little conductors in it. That's cool. And there's a key. that key is really stupid. What's the deal with the key? The robes on him look it's pretty cool bad. He's to unlock that lock yeah. on his belt. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, god, what is that all about? What's he unlocking? You can click on the Necron thing. It's a gene a seed, of... Nick. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see his gene seed. Where he keeps his gene seed, Juniper. Buy <laughs> me dinner oh, first, at least. <laughs> God, this was supposed to be highbrow 40k. Come on. <laughs> oh man, the big Necron. That is a yeah, large, so thick good. boy. Okay, I'm gonna stop painting and look at this shit because this is sounding too good. The it's, large Necron. Cold, that that really cool. Look at his I, chin. Look that how, that look large how, like, Necron has an impressive chin. He is the crimson look how chin. Weathered he is. I pirate. love it how like crude it is. And he's okay, like sunk into the ground. He has really bulky he's legs. Not just, he's not just 
He's not just floating on the ground. Like he's like spiked Ooh. into the ground. Okay. This is something we talked about yesterday about knife walkers. We hate like the tyrannid aesthetic of knife walking, walking on your yeah. second talons. Yeah. This that guy is what a knife it. walker should look like. Yeah. He's stuck into the ground because all oh, the weight distribution. Damn. He looks good. That big sword is so cool. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's a little it's chunky on the, the hilt. I, I think. Okay. Let's see the nice sister's model. That. This oh, is model is a generic sister's model. I think it's actually just from one of the boxes that came up. Yeah. Oh, so there's one model for each. Okay, great. Oh, is something happening? No, eventually. They're not showing you an exciting sister's model. Well, I'm sad. I guess I'm just going to go to bed then. Nah. Guys, I think yeah. we're done. Like, I think this is it. Oh, surely not, I right? Think. Why are they showing Eventing Sun thing, again? Or they'll be like, come back soon. Oh, if they do it, that will be shitty. Here says amazing preview, another disappointing preview. New Primaris Marines, new Necron Warriors, Where's and Pepe? a book. <laughs> this a joke? Question mark. People yeah, saying is... go to the forty k website to see the cool new Kron. Uh, yeah, no, that Space Marine. What's going on with his like? Oh wow, he's got like a proper. Oh my god. His his um holster, oh, guys. Yeah. They you have got to... your wish. He's got a proper size holster. Yeah, they have to be yeah, that big. It has this. to be that big to fucking hold. And I, it still might oh. not fit. Can you imagine him trying to run with that thing attached to his belt where it is? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. bad. He it's will like... not be able to move. Properly. Yeah, like they need to. They need to start making their weapons smaller because they look awful. Not gonna happen. It's not it going not to happen. Heraldry looks really cool. I like his heraldry. It follows actual rules, like heraldic convention. Yeah, it metal. looks nice. Oh, it did it right. That's actually nice. <laughs> this preview was super long. Is yeah. that, that is, so? It, maybe that is it. I think, I, I think they're going to have one more, but that might be just the warm, like, I'm main hope. little the hope. The hugest Warhammer preview ever. My fucking ass. What was that? We saw three... No, we saw two models. I'm hoping they um have oh. something for us to buy a new Primaris Marine on their on their website. Yeah, a that's special true. Model. There's not a, a promotional <laughs> model to buy. Yeah. Hey, one thing I'm realizing... um. Behind the thick new Necron boy, it's all old Necron warriors. In the background, it's just old. If you oh, look on the, um, it is yeah. The old I guess they didn't want to show the new stuff yet. I don't know. But they're showing the new stuff, and then what? Why yeah, would they do right. that? They probably had a, a picture of a bunch of Necrons, and they just used their old picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but well, at least now we can directly compare how much worse the old ones look. <laughs> Thick Boy's yeah. gun Thick is really cool. Better. I like the fact that we've now called him Thick Boy. This pleases me. <laughs> well, he's got a, a real thick claw. Like, that claw's a little yeah, thicker than it needs to be, I think. I, and also yeah, that trunk, thick his claw trunk could be bad. Stabby legs. He's not floating. You're, You're right. The, the stabby legs are pretty <laughs> chunky. You know what? The chunkiest thing, though, is his chin. Look at that chin. Hey, man. That's the bigger the Necron, the bigger the chin. Like, yeah, if you look better. over his... Uh, to the left of him, up and to the left, there's a crypt deck there. Look at the chin on that guy. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah. You know, that guy's got a chin to um to rival Paul Garadin, the um, Imperial Fist special oh, character. Jeez, that... <laughs> <laughs> that chin. Dude, that model looks so much better with a head swap. Oh man, the head is abysmal. The thing is, though, as well, I've seen it in real life, and the head is not as bad as it looks in the heavy metal paint job. They fucked it up really badly. They try to do this very clean look. It's like the Forge World paint jobs. It just doesn't really yeah, it work. It doesn't work. It really doesn't work. It doesn't portray the volume and the shape of the paint well. Funny enough, the Age of Sigmar paint jobs have been really good, but the the Warhammer one, 40k ones have been a bit like, eh. We don't care about paint, we just buy models. Yep. Canada, Nick, I just realized something. Yeah. Your Frostgrave warband that you're making, you used the new, you, not the new, you used the undead blood bowl kits. Are the zombie, are the, are the models in that actually good? Because the website yes. makes them look kind of bad. 
buy it. Uh, okay, so the thing that you need to buy that, sorry, I was going to mention this earlier, but I think I lost the connection. The reason you need to buy that kit are the shoulder pads. And if yeah. you don't want the shoulder pads, I will buy the shoulder pads off you to help finance your purchase of that kit. Those shoulder, like the weird, like they have the spikes. Oh man, they're amazing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of interesting. They're a bit big there. The shoulder oh, pads. Oh, they're showing something. They're showing something. Oh, here. We, oh, it's the thick boy. No. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. Else. Oh, oh, that's not oh, a thick. Oh, it's the king. Oh, it's Silent king. It's, king. It's, king. it's Silent King. Oh, it's Judith Aruchia, except she's a Necron. Oh, he's got a pixel cloak. A pixel cloak. Oh, Catan. Ooh. Trap oh, Catan. Silent. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. I, I see you, Games Workshop. I see you. Thanks for Thank watching. God. It is over. Oh, thank, thank, God. God. That thank God. Is the what? Buy. I'm buying it. I'm buying the king. Wait, that was it? I want to see the king. Where is he? Are you fucking it's over. serious? Wow. Are you God. fucking serious? It is over. Here they is just again. ended it so people can't see. complain. Wow, it's done. Okay. Makes sense. I want oh the my god. The next one. In the chat, are we finally getting true scale chains? Such <laughs> <Such> tease. <laughs> wow. Okay, that model's amazing, but like, is the preview seriously over? And it's done. If the stream's yeah. ended. What? I feel like. I feel like an addict that keeps coming back to the drug and it never gets any better, but I just keep coming back. And I'm like, every is going to be better, and it just yeah. never is. At These first, will never preview be was great. the best, and it was all downhill from there. Yeah. Well, the one with the, the with Gargans the Gargan. was pretty good. Yeah, that was the best. That was the first one, I'm pretty sure. No, that was no? the second one. Was it? No, that was like the third or the fourth. That was the more recent one. That was the I one don't know. I can't storm. remember. All I remember is the Too Many Nicks that we did about it. Yes. So th because of Too Many Nicks, I remember that that was the one just before this preview. Yes, you're right. Uh, yeah, that one was good. Yeah. And they had that, they had that cool new um, Inquisitor who makes a good model. Yeah, the Inquisitor yeah, yeah. Awesome. that inspired me to do, and the new event that's coming for it, to do Ink 28 again. Oh, cute. You found your Ink 28 love again. Yeah, I Yay. did. It's been great fun building a giant death robot. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, that data whatever. Great. Your multi-face data guy. With yeah. That. Oh, he's so creepy. Yeah, I, I try to. The annoying thing is, I thought that Urgul legs were longer, and I try. I've been trying to make them stand up straight because I realized that's why the Urguls are really squat. Because I tried to use mm -hmm. an unmade, but it was just too small for the head, and the legs are really stumpy on the Urgul. <laughs> so I don't know what get to yourself, do for the legs. Get yourself like a crypt horror or something. Mm. I just want to. I want to make it look like he's really like jerky and like. The thing possesses possessing him is burning through metabolism so quick. He's like really thin and kind of like wiry. So I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I reckon. Um, um, I reckon get the um like get, get a crypt horror like one of the one of the bigger um, the big ghouls. They're real big though. Huge. <laughs> well, no, get one of the um the worm. The What's the uh, what's the beast grave one with the what about those guys, Juniper? The ones that you used for your um, your awesome dude with the helmet with the plume, and the big axe. The school boys. Yeah, they they um those the, ones. What about those? The, the, um, crypt cores are the huge. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, the um, the the leader guy is pretty tall. The rest of them are about normal. I I, I might Actually, just try. They're, they're pretty big. I might try and kick bash some. Uh, like cyborg body horror legs or something like that, because I imagine to keep a data entity in him, he needs some actual like cyborg bits. Mm. So the the um yeah, I'm comparing the size of an unmade model via my Gene Steel cult to the Grimwatch calls, and the the leader guy is like significantly bigger. Um, ah, he, maybe I should nice. put an order in. Or I'll just try and scavenge my bits box because I'm trying to. That's a good idea too. Yeah, but aren't they? They're about to go up in price, so probably better to get them now if you want them. <laughs> everything, yeah. uh, Frostgrave is go not Frostgrave. Sorry, everything. <laughs> um, what's that thing? Beast, Beastgrave, Beast, Beast, something. Yeah, that's Shadow Spire, Shades. Yeah, they're all going up. Uh, Any of those boxes where you're like, wow, that's a really leaks, good deal. Because someone why is. Keep, why do they keep renaming the game? 
It really makes it confusing. I know. It's but they didn't, though. It's, it's always they... been Warhammer Underworlds. Right, but no one pays attention to that name. Yeah, they no. call it. They call it the, the big text name. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Nick, what were you saying about leaks? Uh, there's on Instagram. There's this guy called Circus who seems to be leaking like 3D uh, yeah, mock-ups of them. I don't know whether they're it? official, but like, I've seen some um, some 3D mock-ups in a Discord that I'm in of a bunch of Space Marines. One looks fucking amazing, and the rest are really mediocre. Yeah, there's a there's like a chaplain looking dude with a big cleaver yeah. that looks kind of cool. What's oh, that thing? sword. It's an- it's an executioner sword. It's like a terminus type of Hold deal. on, I will drop it in the chat. It looks great. It actually looks XVR? great. XVR? Hold on, I'm just about to drop it in the chat. Boop, 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 boop. I think I might use the, the Rust Stalker legs, actually, and graft on some regular oh, legs. The Rust Stalker legs are so good. Yeah. I already used one for my Mosquito Servitor. I don't remember the mosquitoes. The, um, uh, the I'll 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 draw, send it to you. Oh my god! What is this? Is that, is that conversion? Spikers. Though? That's got to be conversion. Spikers. Hold on. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's he actually looks great. Interesting stuff. This guy actually looks really cool. Is that I mean, the they do, they do look kind of legitimate because the night thing is have the the Volkite charger holsters there and stuff. Yeah. The hmm. super oversized. Oh yeah, they are super oversized. It does look yeah, legit. It looks oh, man. pretty legitimate. Same. The dude with that sword. Like I've never seen a sword like that in 40k, and I'm loving it. I, that executioner sword is mm. yeah. So it's yeah, it's very clearly fine. that's terminus est pretty much from yeah book of the new sun. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, what? Yeah. Where is he getting these the leaks? Sword, there's um I don't know if you're familiar with the the series of novels by Gene Wolfe called that goes by the name the book of the new sun. It's about a essentially a torture guild. Someone from this torturer's guild that has a executioner sword that is like that with with the tip is flat it's a very S- cool world okay, or is it the, terminus the, est. the latter day executioner swords like when they were, were popular they actually did look like that because they weren't needed for combat they were heavy the whole length of the uh, blade to, yeah, to so get more momentum so you would actually cut you want someone's it. head off in one shot yeah so you want to have more weight at the end such that it keeps that momentum and terminus est in itself the the core of it was hollowed out and filled with mercury such that when you huh. swung the blade down more the mercury went to the end whoa uh, that's cool that's awesome i want to use- cool for the person getting executed i want to take that sword and put it onto like a mordheim witch hunter Oh. What would be what would be better is just to make your own sword like that because you could yeah, slice it. Yeah, it couldn't better, be too hard. Probably. You're right. You're right. Bloodborne style Mordheim witch hunters, Juniper. Yeah. Actually, I have a spare pious Vaughn that I bought, and I ordered some of those cool Nurgle helmets that the one with the little tassel on the top yeah. and the full plate helmet. And I was gonna turn her into a. Maybe I'll do that. Turn her into like a like execution in that. Yes. Be sick. And you could probably make that blade with plastic card. Probably, yeah. yeah. Look, I'm not very good with plastic card, but yeah, probably. I've, I've been experimenting now, and it's actually <laughs> got used to it now. Yeah, I'm like I'm okay. I don't use it that much. Like I use it to make like straps and like little pieces of armor and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Sword can be that much different. Um, I don't know. Maybe we want to think about calling the stream to a close oh, yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've seen it. Disappointment. Yeah, it's, disappointed. it's fine. There are new Necrons. I'm like, the Necrons. I'm happy about. Yeah. Overall, oh. the preview was, I think, fine. It was probably yeah. a little too long. Like, I think it almost would have yeah. been better if it was like 30 minutes, new 40K. Here's a picture of the new box, like some new models, yeah. like get excited. Yeah. 
um, start asking us questions, we'll answer. Or them. even just an hour rather than yeah. the hour and a half. Would yeah. Have been. yeah. Well, they just played everything twice. Yeah. I didn't so, need to. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dave. We're just about to end the stream, unfortunately. <laughs> Rip. There was a long, long preview that wasn't. That was okay. It was fine. We'll probably be talking more about it in the coming days. Yeah. Are these. Do you guys think these are Black Templars? Because this guy's saying like Templars, question mark? Nah, it just looks like a chaplain. It's really like an updated Master of Executions. Remember they had the old Space yeah. Commander? The rest of them don't have any Templar iconography, really. But just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I think we'll, we'll end the stream now. Like, it's been fun chatting with everybody. Yeah, we yeah, will. Good. Hopefully talk to all of you again pretty soon. Hashtag new 40k. Hashtag new 40k, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Already hashtag posted. new 40k. Yeah, okay. Well, Over and out, ya. everybody. Bye. Thanks, friends. See you. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks, Juniper. It's so late.